wonder what an HR really does? Welcome back to this channel. I hope you're doing absolutely fine. Today I have with me Lekha. She's been in HR for 13 years now and is currently working in the healthcare sector as a HR business partner. Hi Lekha, welcome to my channel. Thank you Sneha for having me here. So let me start by asking you, how demanding is the job of an HR? Uh, I would say it's quite demanding because you deal with people and emotions and both are not uh, easy things to actually manage. And uh, there's a lot that we do is not visible to the others. Um, and uh, hence it is quite demanding as a role. Right, right. Coming to my next question, can you give us an insight into an HR's life? So HR is a very, very large function and you have a lot of sub teams that uh, anyone could be a part of. So based on the teams, you have certain responsibilities that uh, you handle and uh, each function within HR also correlate with each other uh, to, bring up, to bring about the end result for any organization. But the most common thing for any HR is that uh, no two days are the same. Uh, you know, every day brings about new challenges, uh, new problems that we have to come up with solutions and hence the learning is continuous. It almost never stops. I guess the HR's life is all about surprises. Coming to my third question, uh, how important is an HR in the organizational level? Uh, so very, very important. Uh, there are two aspects to it. The first most important aspect is HR as a function works mostly at the background, right? We enable the teams that we support to actually succeed and showcase their achievements at the foreground. So, you know, it's, it's uh, all the work that we do as, at the background is very, very important for them to be successful. Second, uh, there's a lot of uh, balance that we create in an organization because at the core of any organization are its people. And we also have other things like the policies. We have the statutory compliances that we have to adhere to as an organization uh, based on which country or geography you're a part of, right? And uh, balance is very, very crucial here because you focus on one aspect um, and if you uh, don't focus on the other aspect, it will it'll not have the harmony that you strive for so hard. And hence, um, we do very important things to ensure that balance is in place and to ensure the business that we support can actually focus on other things that are most important for them, their own performance, uh, the productivity, uh, their brand image uh, externally. Uh, these are the things that uh, they don't have to worry about, uh, you know, they have to worry about, right? And uh, at the background, what do we do to ensure, you know, the face of the organization is clear is something uh, that we take care of. Right, right. Okay, coming to my fourth question, uh, how um, is uh, the HR department evolving over a period of time? Uh, this function has seen a lot of uh, evolution in the last couple of years. Uh, two things that uh, the HR function was seen as previously was uh, that we were a very transactional function. Uh, we, we were always uh, perceived to be uh, you know, uh, managing records, managing employee data, ensure everything uh, is in place. And the second thing that we were perceived to be uh, that we were a very... Uh, reactive function, right? You get a problem and then you react to it. That's how we were perceived as a function. But uh, how we, will, we have evolved in our visibility to the rest of the organization has changed over time is that we have moved from a transactional to a strategic function. Uh, we have uh, become a very, very integral part in the decisions that an organization makes for its overall strategy and success. And uh, secondly, from being reactive, we have turned into a proactive function, right? So we preempt problems and try to come up with solutions uh, proactively rather than waiting for that uh, you know, challenge to kick in. And a classic example of how we have evolved has been over the last one year. All the organizations have moved from uh, doing everything in person to doing everything virtually. And uh, the HR function evolving along with that and you know, trying to support them at every stage uh, you know, ha has been great. So uh, this is something I would say that is not going to stop anytime soon. Right, absolutely, absolutely. Coming to my last and final question, anybody who would like to enter into this industry uh, wanting to be an HR, what is your word of advice? 
Uh, so the first thing that I would give as a word of advice to anybody who aspires to be an HR is uh, they would need to be very empathetic and patient listeners um, and active, active listening at that because uh, patience is a virtue uh, you know that you have to have as an HR. Uh, you can't lose your cool. Uh, I think every HR is supposed to be captain cool where you have a lot of challenges and you cannot lose your composure at that point of time. Uh, you know, you have to listen, not to react to a certain uh, challenge, but actually to come up with solutions, right? So maintaining a composure in the face of an adversity is a huge trait that any HR is expected to have. Second is being assertive. Uh, though you're expected to be patient, listen to everybody, balance it, etc. You need to know where to draw the line so that uh, there are certain protocols that we are expected to follow in every organization. Uh, we don't break it apart, right? So being assertive, learn where to say no is an art in itself. And I think we develop it uh, as HR professionals over a period of time. The most important and uh, crucial uh, trait that any HR should have is to continuously learn and adapt, right? Uh, you will face a lot of dynamics uh, based on the organization that you support or a business that you support or like I spoke about the pandemic situation. So you need to be on your toes all the time, come up with uh, solutions proactively and balance between the employees and the organization. So, you know, uh, these are some of the things that you will learn through your experiences, uh, some great and some bitter experiences, but uh, it's going to only help you body, uh, you know, and move into a more expert HR professional in the making. Right. Absolutely. Wow. That was a great insight into an HR's life. And thank you so much for this great conversation. I hope our audience also enjoyed the same. And I hope to see you next week. Do tune in for more fruitful content.